in eighth grade, I went to a Woman in Science Day, and that's when I first found out about engineering, and I just fell in love with it right away. I always liked math, but it wasn't until I started getting into more applied science classes that I started thinking about engineering. In high school, senior year, I took environmental science, and I really thought that was interesting but I wanted to get more of like the analytical side. Both my parents are engineers. My mom's a mechanical engineer, my dad's an aerospace engineer. And I was kind of leaning towards doing engineering, but I wasn't really sure what it was. Quite honestly, my school did not provide a lot of exposure to engineering, so I pretty much had to do research on my own. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm a sophomore majoring in civil engineering building science. I'm Emily, I'm a junior in astronautical engineering. When Natalie and I were looking at colleges, we were interested in engineering, but we weren't quite sure what to expect as a woman in engineering. So with that in mind, we sat down with some of our friends here at Viterbi and we had them share with us any concerns they might have had in their experiences as women engineers. We hope this video will help answer any questions that you might have. So when I came in as a civil engineer, I was really scared that I was going to be the only girl um, because I heard that it was a male-dominated field. I believe that women are slightly less uh, represented in the engineering fields and I, I thought that challenge was really exciting to be in an environment where you aren't necessarily surrounded by a lot of people who are like you. That made me excited to meet that challenge. I didn't have any qualms about um, the ratio at all and coming here that's exactly the case. Like I find that I am well represented or women are well represented in my classes and I'm not the only girl and so I've had a really positive experience. I was also scared because people said that the curriculum was really hard, that you were just going to be taking a lot of math and science classes and that they were just impossible. So when I first got here I realized that engineering was challenging but it was challenging in a way that it's that I enjoy. I'm so close to the people in my classes and I think that is because we understand what it means to work together. We understand that this is a difficult field uh, not only in the academic sense but also when you go into industry and the ability to work with other people and to make those connections is one of the most important things about engineering. When I first came into classes I expected it to just be about learning the concepts but I was really happy to find that it's also about applying the concepts. So one of my favorite parts about classes is that you get to learn about all these things in electrical engineering and then you get to apply them in hands-on design projects. What I like the best is that it is applied math and science. So you learn a lot of theory, a lot of math, a lot of theory, theory things like fluid dynamics, but then you can go and apply it. And you don't even have to wait to get out of college to apply it. I mean, we have a bunch of design teams on campus. Um, I'm really involved with the air design team where I take everything that I'm learning about flight mechanics and you know building techniques and I'm applying it right now in college whereas with purely theoretical majors it's a lot harder to grasp like what you're working towards so with engineering that's not difficult at all. For me coming in my biggest struggle was figuring out what major I really was best suited for and so I have talked to a lot of girls who are kind of at that point where they're like I don't like my major and I've been like you know, there's so many majors besides the one you're in at Viterbi that you still could be incredible at. And so I think that the main thing is just knowing what options are out there and not just thinking because you can't do one thing, you can't do anything. Both my parents are engineers. My mom's a mechanical engineer, my dad's an aerospace engineer. And I was kind of leaning towards doing engineering, but I wasn't really sure what it was. So I was kind of thinking about my interests and I was really interested in math and science and sports. So when I talked to my mom about it, she's like, I've heard about this thing called biomedical engineering. Maybe you should look into it. And I looked into it and I was like, oh, this would be the perfect thing. It combines math, science, and you can do biomechanics and sports. So after that day, it all became about biomedical engineering. So I guess one of my main concerns was about the workload because I am very involved with the university and with my minor and that sort of thing. Um, so I was wondering how I would be able to be able to manage all my time from all my engineering work but still be able to do all the other activities I've done. Um, and I've actually found a pretty good balance. I don't know how I really manage my time, but somehow it works because my engineering classes, yeah, they're like long and there's a lot of work, but they're still, the teachers are very supportive. They're always open to talk to you for office hours, so that's been very helpful. Um, there's been a lot of resources that has helped me be able to manage all my time and still be participating in other activities. For me, I decided that I really wanted to do track and field and engineering, and to do that, you have to really be good about time management. So for me, usually track and field, you have practices 
kind of every single day of the week and on weekends. So it seems like a huge chunk of time that it is, but as long as you do your homework ahead of time, as long as you go to class, you study ahead of time, it's definitely possible. Even though I'm involved in a lot of things in engineering, which take up a lot of my time, I still find time to do theater. I am a founding member of the Slanderous Tongues Theater Company, and I helped found that in my freshman year. I'm currently still on the executive board, and this semester I'm directing a scene from Macbeth for the Shakespeare Rep Company. I joined Engineers Without Borders, which provides clean water for a town in Honduras, and um, uh, I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people choose engineering, is to use their talents and brain power to help other people and solve problems. Something that I became really involved with at USC was how the interaction with Iridescent. It's a local nonprofit that makes engineering really interesting and exciting for kids. I have worked primarily with um, elementary school children and specifically with young girls because a lot of people don't think that that field is open to young ladies and that um, it's not something that they are able to pursue. To any women who are not sure whether engineering is the right fit for them, I definitely recommend doing some personal exploration, seeing if there's any companies that would be willing to take you on as an unpaid or paid intern. I actually was lucky enough to get an internship my senior year with Northrop Grumman, and that really secured my ability to say that engineering is what I wanted to do. And I, th I think there's a lot of chances out there, especially because women are still underrepresented, for you to really like go out there and make a name for yourself early on, as well as there's a lot of female mentors out there that I'm sure would be really excited about talking to you. I know I'm always open if anyone ever comes up to me. I love to talk about how great engineering's been and I think that it's something anyone can do. So if you're sitting at home thinking like, yeah, this is like iffy, it's not. You can definitely do it.